Hello guys, welcome to the channel and today we'll be looking into creating an Alexa app. Okay, uh, this Alexa app will be uh, like similar to what Amazon provides you uh, uh, over Amazon.com. You can go and see what that device is if you have not seen that. So I will just try to explain what that app is and then we will see how we are going to code uh, this particular app. Of course, we are not uh, creating a voice recognition system and um, a speech based device. So this will be a basically a command line device. But again, it will be a parallel processing device uh, the, as what you see with Alexa. OK, so you can give, give commands and Alexa will respond on to those commands. So this video is going to be very, very interesting, guys. Uh, like it, you will get to see the power of uh, parallel programming. OK, how a parallel programming or parallel computation can change the world entire, entirely of, of, of the programming world. OK, so uh, when I say I will be creating an app, so this will be a backend service. So this will be a backend application. This Alexa app will be created with the help of Java and Scala. OK, we'll be using Java and Scala to basically create and nurture all the code what is required to run up run it up. So if you're not aware of a device uh, of this device, let me give you a brief. So Alexa is a device which you have to sync in with your Amazon uh, account. OK, and when you create this particular account with Amazon or uh, like the Alexa, it, it keeps track of all the information what you have fed with the account and it knows something about you. But this is basically a voice recognition system and an artificially intelligent system that does a lot of tasks. OK, so when I uh, when I when I say tasks, so you can say Alexa switch off my uh, light. If you are if you're using a smart light, if you're using a smart fan, if your house is smart, you can give commands to Alexa and Alexa will perform uh, perform that activity. Now, Alexa also uh, plugs in with smart tv so alexa can change channels for you so basically whatever the command you give right uh, that will be interpreted by the alexa compiler and the alexa understands uh, with the memory what you feed inside with the logic what you feed inside about that and basically acts on those commands and uh, gives you uh, gives you the output or performs that the task that is needed okay so quite interesting like uh, like it's a it's a, uh, and it's a like a memory based system so you can keep track of memory as well uh, play around with the memory and other stuffs <coughs> you can also feed a lot of uh, a lot of other things um, uh, inside uh, Alexa like you can uh, set alarms you can set to do list and you can do a number of things with Alexa okay also if you are not familiar or you have not seen uh, you will be getting a hang of what an Alexa looks like when we go into um, the code part of it I will try running it on your on my screen and you will see how powerful this app has uh, become um, and, and how powerful you can create applications using Java Scala and, and these basic semantics so apart from Java Scala I will be using a library called uh, Akka okay Akka actors so it's a <coughs> multi-threading um, application or multi-threading API that's basically uh, bundled up with all the concurrency things that's uh, required to make your application up and running in an environment in production. Okay, so without getting a delay, uh, we'll get started. Okay, and see how we can create Alexa app right from the scratch. And guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, if you are new to the channel. Do subscribe to the channel. I would recommend uh, you will get a lot of useful contents. We will be going through all the interview related videos. There will be a lot of con useful contents like data structure, algorithms, low level design, high level design, system design, design patterns, OOPS concepts. So do consider subscribing. You are going to get a lot of lot and uh, plenty of information that will be very useful to you. So let's get started. <clears throat> so as I told, uh, this is a basically a, a voice uh, recognition system. So the, the, you, when you speak, Alexa listens on to it. It sends that command to its compiler or the backend interpreter. That interpreter reads your command and tries to see it in the engine whether that command has some output to be given or some process to be executed or not. If it has, then definitely it will try to execute it. If it is not, it will just say you that I don't have uh, this information as of now. 
you can try a uh, try later okay so the different features what you are going to see in this alexa app would be uh, you can create a to do list okay you can maintain a to do list uh, you can um, you know, get to know the current date and time of the system what is what is now what is that of now to just demonstrate i have limited the features okay so that we can uh, demonstrate the whole uh, thing in limited time so don't worry you can um, extend this app i will be sharing the whole code with you okay um, if you want to go through it you can just look into the description below and you will find all the code that is required to basically you no know, uh, create this app so the main important features will be there will be a to do list that, that you can create you can maintain the to do list you can view the to do list then you can see the date time okay and it you can open some application from your machine and so on and so forth and and this app will be wholly configurable okay so without getting delay let's get started with the actual code and let's see how the whole thing is bundled up okay so i will just try to open intellij so this is the whole application i have bundled inside uh, of a package called alexa demo okay this has three folders so uh, i will just demo it first uh, so that that makes sense and then we will start going through the code so it has three folders core drivers and util you can see there are some specific uh, classes inside these uh, these folders and there is a main runner app that is uh, that we call as uh, the cla uh, command line alexa okay so we have created a command line alexa here so we have named that class as command line alexa so let's try running it and then probably we will be start looking into the code okay so i will just click right click on this class okay this is again a scala project uh, scala uh, project that has been created i will create a separate video for um scala uh, scala related constructs how to get started with the scala if you are a java developer i have a lot and lot, lot and lot more things to share uh, share with you uh, in regards to scala okay how to get started how to create app from the scratch how to code in scala how to know uh, about different libraries like lenses in scala then um, cats scala z and all others so uh, we'll share all those information um, like slowly and slowly uh, okay just bear with me uh, with my limited time whatever it is possible i'm just trying to give my 100% so uh, let's get started with this app how this app uh, looks like and how this app behaves so i will just try to run it so right click run okay so this uh, will try to run this alexa app okay and you can see uh, it has uh, rendered to a prompt that is saying alexa okay <clears throat> so uh, what it has done is it's basically a, a parallel programming uh, system so basically there are multiple threads that are listening on to your commands and one of your threads picks up these commands interprets it and sends it to the relevant uh, engine okay and that engine will be responding you back with actual response what that needs to done that needs to be done with your application okay so let's start so generally when we start alexa we say hi so let's say hi so it says uh, it replies you back so it says yo wow so again you can say hi you can see it will not be like a static constant thing what we have fed in okay you will get a different response every time okay um, it's it's like you will be getting different responses based on uh, the engine behavior what is there cached in the engine and so on and so forth so you can see based on different responses uh, uh, this, uh, different high what you have sent it is sending you a different response uh, completely right so this is one of the commands that will be welcoming you okay you can see the app is still running you can see this red button right this red button so this will be, this basically says that your app is still running okay and it is still hearing to you okay what you are saying is still getting listened okay so that's uh that that's the main important thing that in parallel if you are doing some computation or, or currently if you are running any code still you have to keep on listening you have to keep on doing some things okay so let's uh try something else okay uh, i will just try to uh, ask date for today okay you can see that it has given me date uh, of course date and time i have set it same as of now so if you will give time command it will it will give you uh, the time as well what what the time is <clears throat> now uh let's let's simulate one one thing that is uh, a bit interesting like let's create a to do list okay and that to do list will have some some values okay and in between we will do some other thing and then try to see our to do list again and uh, let's see how it works okay 
so let uh, so for now i have given a command says to do add uh, work okay so this is added work to it so let's add uh, some uh, so to do list okay so let's see what it will just list down what exactly is there on your uh, on your basically uh, to do list okay you can see uh, actually um, i am not able to show you the exact typing okay that's a bit that has gone a bit down but whatever the command i am typing you can see on the on this line right so i i have typed to do list and it gives you uh, what is there in the list so you can add something to the to do list again say to do uh, to do add uh, sleep okay so i have added added sleep you can see it has updated the sleep let's in the meanwhile ask for time okay what is the time you can see it's again giving you time uh, concurrently okay you uh, it, it has printed you time then again you can ask for date again okay and in the memory in between you can ask for to do okay what was the to do list okay you can see it's still showing you the to do list so basically you are giving commands and that is basically getting manipulated by the threads the specific threads those, those who are uh, relevant to process your particular task okay so now let's delete one of the to do list okay so the command uh, uh, for that is to do del say um, i want to delete work okay you can see the work is deleted and only you are getting sleep okay so you can see this whole to do list works just fine okay and in between you can trigger different commands you can ask alexa for different things and it will just uh, work as expected uh, calc okay it should open calculator okay so you can see the calculator gets open okay um, it has opened calculator as well so it has it has capabilities to basically perform all those things that you have fed it into the engine that you have actually written the logic for it will do whatever uh, uh, you want it and it will just give you uh, the either the output or the thing what is that is needed okay it's still um if you want you can do the parallel processing say uh, to do list and it will give you the list what is there inside as of now okay so you can see how how beautifully the whole parallel computation works right you are giving the commands um one by one it is just checking that command in the engine whether that command is there uh, has some uh, logic fed inside the engine and it just tries to execute it you but you can see uh the engine is still running this red button right you can see the my mouse pointer uh, so this uh, red button says that this app is still running so basically to close this app you can just say bye and it will uh just you no know, um uh say that your program is terminated and in few seconds uh your program will uh, will get uh, terminated okay so this is uh, how the alexa you can see that the red button has gone by right it has stopped all the parallel threads that were running and um, uh, this application has been shut down right so now let's look into the code okay the code is very very simple as i told i am using um, java scala um, uh, a characters to perform this particular uh, task okay so you can see i have created alexa demo okay alexa demo is the folder okay and then i have created three folders one is core one is drivers one is utils okay and this is my in main app from where uh, everything starts happening it starts happening so how this works is actors are basically when you extend uh, something with an actor it will be like a separate processing unit okay that will act as a separate processing unit so i have created different actors so i have created hello actor goodbye actor to do list actor time actor which was showing time and then window actor windows act, app actor that basically was opening some app from your windows or mac whatever so these are different actors so these are different processing units okay so when i say processing units these are basically uh, running parallelly at the same time so they are basically running concurrently at the same time and when you type in any of uh, your um, command or any of your uh, text on to the command line it gets read up and it gets processed by one of them okay based on the logic uh, what it has internally okay so we'll see just uh, just see what exactly it, it does okay so you can see there is an infinite loop right while true we are just trying to scan the next line what the input is and we are just trying to manipulate it and call the actual actors what 
what basically are listening on okay so these are different as i told these are different processing units so they they keep on running okay they keep on running and you will have to basically uh, type in something that is being processed or fed up in these one of one of these processors okay so let's look into the core logic okay so the core logic lies inside these actors okay i will try to explain any one of them and probably i will share the code okay um, uh, very quickly i will uh, go through the other code and then probably you can look into the code and figure it out how it ex exactly works don't worry about all these constructs okay guys i have taken a lot of time to study these uh, scala related libraries um, java related libraries that are very very useful uh, if you are do if you don't want to do low level concurrency and multi threading you can always try to grasp uh, these concepts and understand it in a bit depth so that that gives you a quite quite better understanding of how you can use them in achieving those multi threading or concurrent tasks okay so let let's look into these actors one by one okay so these actors are uh, very very simple okay so these actors are extending the actor okay these uh, uh, extending the actor so actor is a class inside the akka framework or the akka library you uh, you just extend it and basically you will get to override one method that is called receive okay and in this receive basically it matches on to what your good goodbye expressions are you can see these are your goodbye expressions right these are your goodbye expressions and these of these uh, goodbye expressions so if you will type anything in these regular expression or regular expression pattern they will try to respond it okay uh, this, this will try to handle it and it will just uh, no do whatever it is written okay so you can see if if you are doing a, uh, uh, if you are entering one of the regular expressions that have been mentioned here like what we just saw it will just try to call handle goodbye you can see this is a method call uh, okay and you can see this handle goodbye has this um, has this code that basically tells you to call that system dot exit so your uh, basically application will get exited similarly we have hello actor okay it has a regular expression that has been fed that basically tells you that these particular expressions we are listening to at the moment and uh, you, this will check whether we have the handling for that and basically it will call the uh, the hello hello uh, uh, hello executor okay the hello processing unit executor so you can see this will return one of these things when you type in hello okay similar is the case of time actor okay i will just tell you the task what it does so when you enter handle time it will just try to get the current time okay and it will just try to print in the string format format on your screen okay so uh, very very simple thing okay uh, there is nothing very greek and latin it's just that you need to understand the library in a, in a very very better way so that you can use them and you can achieve whatever you want uh, uh, whatever you want uh, with these libraries okay so this code is very very simple i will try to share the code as well okay just go through them and it should make sense if you have any doubts you can uh, mention down in the comments i will definitely try to uh, revert uh, revert it back also will try to share the github link for it later i have not created it but i will create it and send it over right now i will sending you the google drive link which i will be pasting in, in the comments below okay so this was it guys like this was uh, uh, i just wanted to give you a hang of parallel programming okay how the parallel programming works how useful it can be and how beautifully you can basically create create something that is uh, that is basically you uh, know quite elegant and quite uh quite nice to uh no implement and also execute okay so that's it uh okay so talk to you later guys uh take care bye bye hey guys i uh, hope you are liking my content okay if you are then do subscribe to my channel with the link above okay you can see the hyperlink to subscribe to my channel you can watch the playlist what is mentioned over the screen okay that's the playlist for data structure algorithms i'll be creating more and more videos of data structure algorithms